Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Electric and today we will be learning about the concept of voltage drop and why it occurs in an electrical system. We already know about the basic concepts of voltage, current and resistance and their relationship with each other and considering a simple circuit, we can establish the phenomena of voltage drop in that circuit. So we define voltage drop as the voltage loss in an electrical system due to the presence of resistance in that circuit. Now let us understand this voltage drop by approaching it in a practical point of view. First let us assume we have a point 1 where we supply voltage of 415 volts to a motor at point 2 which is 200 meters apart from each other. Upon inquiry we find that there is a drop in voltage on the motor end at point 2 which is approximately turning out to be 400 to 410 volts. This means that the initial supply voltage of 415 volts is somewhat lost along the distance of 200 meters and 400 to 410 volts is actually reaching the motor. These 5 to 10 volts that is lost is referred as the voltage loss or simply the voltage drop in the system. Now there are several reasons as to why voltage drop occurs in a circuit and these are the wire material, the size of the conductor and the voltage and length of the cable which is the distance. The material of the wire affects voltage drop. As if we choose a copper wire or an aluminium wire, the resistance will be different in either of them. And as we learned from the definition of voltage drop just a minute ago, it is dependent on the resistance in the circuit. So needless to say, changing the wire material would hugely affect the voltage drop. Also voltage drop changes if size of the conductor changes. As in, if we use a 2.5 square mm cable instead of a 4 square mm cable, then that would affect the voltage drop in the circuit. The third and most crucial factor affecting voltage drop is dependent on the voltage and length of the cable, that is the distance between the supply point and the receiving point. Let's again illustrate the previous example where we supply voltage of 415 volts at point 1 to a motor at point 2 which is 200 meters apart from each other and upon inquiry we find that there is a drop in voltage on the motor end at point 2 which is approximately turning out to be 400 to 410 volts. But if we increase this distance of 200 meters to 2 to 3 kilometers, we observe an even greater drop in voltage on the motor end. To prevent this huge loss in voltage, we can increase the supply voltage from 415 volts to 11 kV. An important point to note here is that in any electrical system, drop in voltage cannot be greater than 5% or else that system would be deemed inefficient. Now you might wonder that as voltage drop is a loss in voltage, it probably does not have any applications. This is not true. Remember when we discussed Ohm's law, we talked about an example connecting a 10 volt supply to a 2 volt LED and that upon direct connection, the LED would get damaged. So we connected a resistance of 160 ohms in that circuit which we calculated using the triangle method of Ohm's law. Connecting the resistance in the circuit lowered the voltage required for the LED to operate, which is an application of voltage drop. Another example where we see the use of this application is when we light a string of LEDs together for some occasion. Like the previous example, if we took a single LED and gave it a supply of 220 volts, then the LED would eventually get damaged and also there would be a possibility of a short circuit. So instead we connect a string of LEDs together and give them a 220 volt supply and as a result there is some voltage drop in every one of those LEDs which allows each LED to glow without getting damaged. So I hope that you now understand the concept of voltage drop, the factors affecting voltage drop and also the applications of voltage drop. If you have any further doubts or questions please feel free to comment down below and also don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel Electric. I will post stuff like this to clear your concept and make it as simple and short as possible. Until then, bye.